Okay, great. You have found your ideal business. Next question, how am I going to pay for it? Well, there are so many options out there and some of them may be a surprise to you. So of course, if you have money in a savings account, that's a simple way to go about it, but it may not be the smartest way. You may need to hang on to some of that liquidity for some of your other expenses. Uh, an SBA loan is oftentimes what I'm asked about, and that's another good way to fund a business. But do keep in mind, if you're going to go get an SBA loan or maybe another type of loan, that bank is going to require that you have about 20 to 30 percent of your own cash injection. And then that doesn't mean that you're automatically going to get the loan. They're going to take other factors into account, like what is your net worth, uh, what are the rest of your assets. Um, and what's your credit score? They're going to look for at least a 670 to 700 credit score. So keep that in mind. Another way that people are not aware of uh, in many cases is a program that was developed by the IRS and it's called a rollover business startup. And what that does is allow you to actually take your retirement funds that may be in an IRA with an investment company or in a 401k with a company that you're no longer employed with, and you can roll those into a C corporation to fund your business. So what you're actually doing is buying stock in your own company, transferring those out of the, the investment portfolio that you have them in now and investing in yourself. So as you can see, there's a variety of ways to go about funding a business. And at FranNet, we have partnerships with funding institutions that can help with that. So I encourage you to sit down with me, let's have a conversation and really evaluate a path that's best for you.